Veterans Day 2009, Manson, Washington. A beautiful Veterans Day. Community members are coming out to honor our veterans, the United States military. Honesty, integrity, and the words to thine own self be true. I have witnessed service to the community from both my mom and dad as well as my grandparents. And I have worked to pass that on to my children. Mentoring really does make a difference. We should try harder to bring young people to ceremonies like this. Because through you, our young people can see firsthand what it means to serve our country. They can see what it means to give something to someone else in a selfless way. It is your children, my children, and all of our grandchildren that have received a tremendous gift from all of you and from the members of our military. And that gift is the greatest, the gift of freedom. And I don't need to tell you that freedom is not free. You know that. There are tremendous sacrifices involved. Sometimes it's spending time away from the ones you love. Sometimes it means sacrificing financially or sacrificing by giving your time. And other times the sacrifice is the ultimate one, the giving of a life for someone else. Freedom truly is not free. But it is certainly an endeavor worth fighting for, whether that means going into combat or working at a computer to track information vital to our national security. Fewer than 10% of Americans can call themselves military veterans. You have given us far more than your share of the liberty that we enjoy in our country today. I will leave you with this quote from Thomas Paine, written in the crisis in 1777. Those who expect to reap the blessings of freedom must, like men, undergo the fatigues of supporting it. You have endured those fatigues on our behalf, and for that, I thank you. We all thank you. Happy Veterans Day, and thank you for the honor of sharing that today with me. Thank you. Before we sing the Star Spangled Banner, the wreath <coughs> is in memory of Michael Keyes of Manson, graduated Manson High School in 1968, deceased in Vietnam in 1971. The other part is Vernon Zorns, graduated from Chelan High School in 1970 and deceased in Vietnam in 1970. At this time, we will have a moment of silence for all of our fallen comrades. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red blood. And bombs bursting in air Gave through, through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled